So what's next for me? Hmm, interesting question. What's next for me? Well, I am actually in the process of rebranding my company more than my disability to work, again, like I said, more with younger children. Now, when I say younger children, I mean the ages of um, maybe three to six and their parents. I want to create a, um, I want to create an environment where they feel comfortable in coming to me and talking about what it's like to deal with their child's disability. How can I help them? How can I provide resources? And I want to do this in a community that is not touched. I want to do this in a community that is not, not, not populated a lot. Like we see these different organizations and you know, the prevalent community, the community, the affluent community, the communities that have the money and so on and so forth. But we do not see a lot of these programs in what you would consider your rural community or what you would consider your urban community. And these communities need resources and help just like any other community. And they should not suffer because they can't afford the resources. They, their children should not suffer because they can't afford the resources. Their children should not miss out on needed therapy, needed um, any resources that is needed in that community. They should not suffer or miss out because they don't have the resources or they don't have the monetary means to make these things happen. And I feel like that is what God has called me to. God did not call me to this business to make money. Of course, he told me, if I do it his way, I'm always going to be blessed. The Lord told me in the beginning of this, if I do it his way, I'm always going to be blessed. So this, this business is about, it's not about making money for me, but it's about blessing the community. It's about blessing his people. It's about doing what I can do to give back to his people. And that is what more than my disability is about. It's about blessing God's people and showing them there are, there's another way. You don't have to have an affluent amount of money. You don't have to live in certain neighborhoods or certain places to be what God has called you to be and to do the things that God has called you to do. I want to use myself as an example. I want other children to see me as a person with a disability and say, wow, she has a disability and she did it. So I have a disability and I could be whatever I want to be. And just like she was whatever she wanted to be, I could be whatever I want to be. And that is what I plan to go on to do. Oh, <laughs>